This is the storyline of the movie Black Adam, released in the year 2022. Spoilers ahead. Please like and subscribe to this tiny channel. The movie begins 5000 years ago, where we see a cruel king ruling there. There was a time when this city used to be free. But now this cruel king has made the people of this city his slaves. This king is getting the land excavated from all the people of this city. Actually, he was looking for a material, a thing that could give him magical powers. As a result, he would have become even more powerful than before and able to rule not only this city, but the entire world. The name of this material is Eternium. With the help of this, he will make a crown with which he can get the powers of a superhero inside himself. Here, as usual, the workers are digging and, in the meantime, a worker gets that Eternium stone, which the cruel king wants. Soon he makes his own crown, which he will get a lot of powers by wearing. Meanwhile, we also see a small boy who stands up against that cruel king. He makes the villagers understand that we should avoid this injustice. We should not bow down to him. But, when the cruel king finds out that the boy is standing against him, he orders to kill him. As he is being taken to be killed, the boy suddenly disappears and comes to a place where many gods were sitting. These six gods tell this boy that, you have courage, and we liked it very much. That's why we are going to give you a power that if you say the word Shazam, all our powers will come inside you and you will become so powerful that you can easily defeat that cruel king. This little boy also does the same. He says Shazam and becomes very powerful. He immediately comes to that king's palace where he is wearing his evil crown to get a lot of powers. But this little boy, who has become very powerful after saying Shazam, comes there and wreaks havoc and starts killing everyone. He is furious and destroys the entire city along with the cruel king. From here, the story goes 5000 years later and we see the present time. At this time, we are shown the same city where a gang has completely occupied this city. They are doing injustice to people, robbing, and completely controlling this city. Actually, the only purpose of this gang is to find that crown. It means they are looking for the same crown that the cruel king had made 5000 years ago. He was ended but his crown is still buried somewhere in this city. Now we see a girl named Adriana, who is also looking for this crown. This girl is quite an expert in finding old things because she is an archaeologist. They are the people who dig up the earth and also have a lot of information about many things in history. Later, this girl, Adriana, goes to a cave where after a lot of effort she finds that crown. Adriana and her friends are happy about this. Here we find out that one of her friends named Ishmael, is involved with the same gang that has occupied the entire city. Then, Ishmael, ends a friend who comes with him and calls the other members of his gang in the same cave. Now, the gang member point a gun at her and ask Adriana, to give them that crown. Now Adriana looks down to the floor and there are some words written on it. When she reads it, Shazam, comes out of her mouth. As she says this word, Black Adam, emerges and starts ending all the goons who have come there. He beats them so much that no one survived. Ishmael, who was involved with the goons, pretends to die there. That's why his life is saved here. As because Adriana has revived Black Adam, she has awakened him again, so he doesn't say anything to her. Now, Black Adam was there and some other people of the gang arrive and attack him with a special weapon. This weapon is made of the same, Eternium, material with which that crown was also made. As, Black Adam gets hit by this missile, he really feels the pain. Black Adam, takes the life of the goon who attacked him. But because of that rocket or that small missile, he becomes unconscious. Here, we come to know that, Eternium is such a material that is the weakness of, Black Adam, and with this material, Black Adam, can also be killed. Seeing this, Adriana becomes worried and takes Black Adam to her house. 
As Black Adam comes to his senses, he meets Adriana's son there. This child tells Black Adam that you have been locked up in that cave for 5,000 years. Now because our city is being enslaved, that gang is not letting us live, so you have come as a savior for us. You will save our city from that gang. Black Adam doesn't care about anything here, he says that 5,000 years ago, this was my city now everything has changed here, so I am not responsible for saving this city. I have nothing to do with this city and the people here. He comes out of the house after saying this and starts walking around the city and starts looking at the city. After this, we see a female leader whose job is to stop the coming superheroes and supervillains in this world. We must keep such situations in the world so that ordinary people do not face difficulty and our land is not threatened. She is talking to a superhero here, Hawkman. She says, Black Adam is back now and if he is not stopped, he can cause a lot of destruction like before. If he goes crazy and gets angry, it will become almost impossible to stop him. Hawkman agrees to this and gathers his team, in which many more superheroes are involved. They all go out together to catch Black Adam. On the other hand, a few gang members go to Adriana's house because they knew that she still has the crown so they went to get the crown. As they are about to attack Adriana's family, Black Adam saves them there and kills the gang members again. He is still fighting with some of the remaining people. At the same time, Hawkman's team arrives and they all start fighting Black Adam. But Black Adam was still dominant on them. The gang members and the Justice Society team were not able to do anything about it and finally, Black Adam leaves. The Justice Society team, which is made up of Hawkman, comes to Adriana and asks her for help in catching him. But Adriana says, where were you when we were being oppressed? I have never seen you before. There is only Black Adam, who saved us and when I was about to die, he saved me. The people of the Justice Society say that the one you think is protecting you is very dangerous even 5,000 years ago, he destroyed our city completely. Finally, they convince Adriana and that's why Adriana takes them all to Black Adam so that everyone can sit and talk to each other. So that they can understand each other and end their own fight. Then on the other hand, Ishmael, Adriana's companion, enters her house so that he can find the crown and use it for himself. When he doesn't get the crown, he takes Adriana's son with him in anger. Here, very cleverly, his son calls his mother, Adriana, and tells her everything that I have been kidnapped. Ishmael has kidnapped me. She becomes worried hearing this and asks for help from the Justice Society and Black Adam. Help me to bring my son back and they both agreed and start looking for her son together. Here, Hawkman catches two men of that gang. After killing them, he finds out where Ishmael is. Ishmael has kept her son in a secret place, which is in a desert and when Black Adam and the Justice Society reach that place, they see that Ishmael has pointed a gun at her son. Here, Ishmael tells a secret that I am the leader of the gang that is causing destruction in the whole city and all these goons work for me. So, he asks Adriana to give him that crown if she wants to save her son's life. This troubled mother gives him that crown so that her son's life can be saved. But despite this, he shoots the child. As Black Adam sees this, he flies at a high speed, comes in front of him and saves the child's life. Here, Ishmael is completely destroyed by Black Adam burning him with his lightning. Here, Black Adam also meets Hawkman and tells him a very big secret. He tells that 5,000 years ago, the boy who raised his voice against that cruel king was not me, but my son and when the cruel king was killing my son, he disappeared from there at that time. Seeing this, the cruel king got very angry because he was not able to find my son so he caught me and my family and beat us brutally. We were beaten badly that no one even treats animals like this. My wife was killed there and I was about to die. 
Then my son came back to me who had a lot of powers and he gave me all his powers. Now all the powers had come into me. We were just talking and then the cruel king's people attacked us again. I was saved there because I had a lot of powers but my son was killed right in front of my eyes. Seeing my son dying, I became furious and I killed the cruel king and his people but those powers were not in my control, I could not control them. Soon, the whole city was destroyed by my unwillingness. Because I have done this, those gods who gave my son power and now I have that power, they were enraged. As I have misused my power and did not keep my power in control. That's why they locked me in that cave and I stayed in that cave for thousands of years. When Adriana came and took the name, I came back to life once again. Here, Black Adam is still very sorry that there has been and continues to be a lot of destruction as a result of him. A lot of people were killed. He tells Hawkman that he wants to surrender and finish my powers so that no one is harmed as a result of me. After that, Black Adam says the word Shazam, from which he returns to his normal form. It means he becomes a normal human being who does not have superpowers at the moment. Until he says Shazam again, he can't become Black Adam again. That's why he also requests them to do something with me so that I can't say this word again. Finally, Black Adam is put into the water and the device is put in his mouth so that he can't speak. This is a small jail where Black Adam is locked up. On the other hand, we are shown Ishmael, who was dead and now he has come to hell. Ishmael knew from the start that if he wanted to wield the power of that crown, he would have to hold it in his hands and at the same time, someone should kill him so that he dies and comes to hell, and he can meet the demons of hell here, with whom he can get power. Ishmael knew all these things from the beginning. That's why he provoked Black Adam that as I kill Adriana's son, Black Adam will come and save him while killing me. At the same time, the crown was also in his hands. He knew all these things from the beginning and everything was going according to his plan. Here, the demons of hell meet Ishmael and give him their powers. He was not like before, he has become Sabak, he comes into this world with these powers and starts destroying everywhere. As the Justice Society finds out about it, they come in front of him to compete with him. There is a lot of fighting going on, but Sabak is very powerful, even when they were all together, they couldn't stop him. One more team member of the Justice Society named DR Fate comes in his multiple forms using different powers, he tries to kill Sabak, but still does not succeed. Soon, they understand that no one can defeat Sabak except Black Adam. That's why he starts talking to Black Adam through telepathy here. He tells him that we need your help and they help him a lot from here so that he can free himself. He gets out of there and ends some of the soldiers there. He comes out of the water and as he comes out, he says, Shazam, because of it, he gets the power of Black Adam, and without wasting time, he starts going to Sabak. On the other hand, the people of the Justice Society are still fighting with Sabak, and during this time, one of his teammates, Dyar, Fate, was killed there. Hawkmen are also fighting with Sabak, but their efforts are not very successful. But luckily, Black Adam comes there at the same time. Now there is a lot of fight between Black Adam and Sabak. It was a heavy fight but with time it seemed that only Black Adam could defeat Sabak. After a while, Black Adam grabs the head of Sabak and cuts it into two parts and after tearing it completely, he finally ends Sabak. Because of this, Sabak dies and everything becomes peaceful and starts getting better. The people of the city start considering Black Adam as their savior and they all accept that Black Adam has saved them and their city. After this, we see the same lady who made the Justice Society team to stop Black Adam. She tells Black Adam here that it's okay, do whatever you want, but don't leave this city. Be the savior of the people of this city, take care of them, be the guardian. I don't care but don't leave this city because if you come out of this city, it won't be good for you. 
Here, Black Adam sits and looks at her and says that no one can order me and whenever he wants to do anything, he will do it on his own. Then the lady says, yes, maybe you are right, no one can stop you from living in this world but I know someone who is not from our world. Black Adam gets angry and breaks the screen on which the lady was talking. The screen breaks and there is smoke everywhere. Meanwhile, Superman comes out of the smoke. He tells Black Adam that we should sit down to talk. As soon as Superman says this, the story of this movie ends here. Thank you for watching. Please help this tiny channel to grow by clicking on the like, share and subscribe button.